Hey quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. Emily's in the house, how are you? I'm good, I'm a little chilly, but I'm very glad to be inside. <laughs> Appropriate, we have penguins today. Exactly Emily is so funny, she came in bundled up like she was just crazy. It, I don't know, it was like it was cold outside or something. Oh, right? right? I, yeah, I guess I was channeling the penguin vibe, like you said, you know. There you go. Feeling like I'm in Antarctica. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I'm turning down my sound because on my phone, it's not letting me do that. All right, um, where is everybody watching from today? Listen, we have Cindy from Shelton, Washington. Linda, hello from Canada. And Linda, another Linda is from Homeland, California. Thanks for watching today. Let's showcase the new projects from our intro video. Yes, please. Okay, this one is so cute. Uh, first up is Julia. She made this super adorable candy corn tumbler quilt. Is that not so cute? That's just so clever the way she did that. And I bet like, okay, am I thinking of this right? That she like sewed, she took strips, sewed them together and then used the tumbler die to make yep. that a perf perfect line. Yep. And I feel like, cause um, you know, we do the stack and flip method yeah. and that kind of thing. So I feel like maybe she had a second set of rows that were, so one set of rows that were white and orange and yellow and then yellow, orange and white. Totally. Yeah. No, I think it's darling. All right, next we have this fun project by Melissa C. Okay, Emily, what die is this? The feathered star and it is glorious. It is truly, truly glorious. I just love the colorway of it. Um, I, I just think it's beautiful. Good job, Melissa. Completely agree. All right, and last up, we have this fun one from Pam mm. Z. Yay. Emily, what did she uh, use? Which it's, die? It's the maple leaf, which is, is cool that it did that little cross section in the middle like that with the stems. How clever. Right, it gets that secondary pattern if you look at it there. Exactly. So fun. Ah, I'm loving all the fall stuff. All right, today's show is all about a fun and easy ways to use the Go Penguin die. We just released it. Um, and in fact, aside from the two and a half inch border around the edge, the Go Just Chillin' table runner <laughs> is a completely no-sew project. So it's perfect if you're new to quilting or if you have the chance to have your kids or grandkids want to help. Um, this is just a really a fun project to do. All right, so here is my picture of the day. So in the center is, do we have a picture of the day? There we go. I'm in the center of that cute little blonde in the back is my granddaughter Oakley. And that's her crew that she went to the penguin exhibit oh at the God. Omaha Handler Dorley Zoo. Um, they're just chilling. We had a good day. So the question of the day is, now that we have a penguin die, what other cuddly creature should we add to our collection? Um, put it in the comments section and let's see. So Emily, did you have an idea of what you wanted? So actually Morgan and I agree that otters should be. Oh, the otters are one. super cute. So cute. They hold hands when they sleep. They do. <laughs> yeah, that one's a cute idea. Um, I was trying to think, um, okay, yesterday we gave away narwhal fabric. Yeah. I would love to have a narwhal die. So pretty. I know. I have no pull when it comes to that, but that's my, I'm throwing my hat in the ring. <laughs> All right, today I'm gonna to give away one of our penguin dies. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails. That way you will never miss an exciting tutorial. And the amazing Emily will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. Okay, he's really fun. Today for our project for the Go Just Chillin' Table Chopper, you're gonna need the Go Penguin die and any other accessories you want to add to your project. We're gonna be using the Go Holiday Accessories die, the Go Owl Accessories die, the Gnome die, maybe some from the Gingerbread Cookie. Yes. Uh, for the border and binding, you're gonna need a two and a half inch strip die. So just kind of try and make it your own, whatever you want to make with it, okay? Because one of the great things about this table runner is that you can totally personalize it. Think about adding snowflakes or other winter shapes. You could change the colorway and have a theme for Valentine's Day. So cute. I know. The 4th of July 
or think about adding penguins for each member of your family, family and embroidering their names on the runner. The possibilities are endless. I was thinking about this would be a really fun if you get together as a family for Thanksgiving. Um, you could have everybody make their own penguin. Oh, right? So and then everybody could cute. add penguins to the table runner. And then you could use it for, you know, birthdays and those kind of things. Love that idea. Okay, this is the Go Penguin die. It's on a six by 12 die board. So it's gonna fit through any of our Go cutters, including the Go Me. The penguin has six distinct shapes. It has the body and the little um, belly, and it has a nose and an eye. Make sure you cut two of them. And little feet, make sure you cut two of them. And wings, make sure you cut two of them. We have a big discussion here. Somebody tell us, who knows? Um, are these like wings or flippers or fins? Tell us in the comments section. Okay, we wanna know. Now the Go Penguin die, oh, um, these are shapes that would be difficult to cut by hand, so you wanna pre-fuse your fabric before you cut your shapes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have some already pre-fused, but we're gonna do some scraps and I wanna show you how to do that, okay? Because then you can just, it's gonna cut the fabric and the fusible and the paper all in one fell swoop. Now the Go Penguin die is just like all of our other applique dies. It has a free downloadable, downloadable embroidery stitches that for the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. And I have a sample of those. So here, let me grab them. These are cute, okay? So here's a sample of those free ones. So here's the cute little blanket stitch, right? Here's that satin stitch. Mm -hmm. But we also have some for purchase. <sighs> I know, this oh is the skating God. penguin. Um, our good friends at V-Stitch did that. He's ringing okay. his little bell. So, and they're super cute ones. Like there's a baker one and um, they're just so cute. There's a Halloween one that I've already downloaded. <laughs> okay, now if you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. Think about using a decorative stitch on your domestic machine or do raw edge quilting. So I'm gonna pull this over here real quick. Justin, can we show them what we're talking about here when we talk about raw edge? So Marianne Fontana designed this. And what she did was she applied her penguins down and then she just did, this is called raw edge stitching. She just went over the shapes. She did little feet, okay? She used grunge, so she gets extra points Even for using grunge. Toes. So cute. lots of ways to finish your table topper. Okay, and you could, like I say, you could make it longer if you wanted to. Um, you could put it on pillows. Mm -hmm. You could do all sorts of things. Absolutely. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna lay some fabric down here, but I wanna give you a pro tip, okay? So I'm gonna show here, back on Mary Ann's. So some of the thin flippers go the same way, but some of them go opposite directions. Right. Right? So if you want them to go the same way, you just want to have the fabric going the same way on the die. Sure. But if you want them left and right, then you want to fan fold your fabric, mm. okay? All right, so we're gonna prefuse some fabric. We're gonna cut some shapes. I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? And here is my little white center, which I'm gonna move out of the way so I don't accidentally cut it while I'm fusing fabric here. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna do is, I already have some uh, black that is pre-fused. We sell this different kind of fusible on our website. We have lots of different kinds. Oh and what I did was I measured from here to here just to add it a quarter of an inch and just rough cut like with the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then I cut that fusible and ironed it down, okay? Now, you could fan fold, but if you do, like half your penguins are gonna be upside down. Oh dear. I learned some things when I was gonna do this. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut our penguin bodies. Okay. And then we're gonna cut the little tuxedo part. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fuse my fabric for my um, nose and my feet and then my flippers, okay? Perfect. So while I'm cutting these down, oh here, let me show you how I'm gonna do this before we get all into it. Hold on. <laughs> so many things going on here in the dream studio. Ooh, Just I'm gonna that. use a little small die. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, 
our penguins. Oh, this is good information for you who are wondering how big our penguin die is. Oh. So our penguin is about four inches wide by five inches high. Okay, so he's a good size. He's a good size. So I've already done this, so now I'm just gonna come here and cut some fabric at like five and a quarter inches. All right, so while I'm cutting my prefused fabric, Emily, tell us um, what cuddly creatures do people want? Okay, we have die. so many great ideas. Okay. I, we actually do have an answer to the the flipper wing debate. Oh, okay, answer the flipper wing for us. So we have two answers actually. So Denise, she said she asked Alexa and she said they're called wings, which I love you, Denise. That's Thank exactly you for what I would Alexa. do. Thank you, Alexa. And then Holly says, so she's a zoo outreach person here. They are oh, wings, okay. especially adapted for swimming very fast. See, look at us. So they're wings. Going forward, we know. We have so many clever, clever viewers. We have viewers. smart people who watch our show. We really do. Okay. All right. Now, here's the tip about pre-fusing your fabric. Mm -hmm. Normally, we can cut how many layers of cotton, Emily? Six. Yep, but once you're pre-fused, you have to count it as a half a layer. Right. So, you okay, can... so I have four penguin bodies. We're going to just work on four today. Perfect. Okay, and then... The little body, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I measured him. He's like three inches by four and a half. So I'm just gonna come here and just subcut my four and a half inch pieces. All right, and are people telling us what, besides wings? Yes, we, we know the answer now. So many fun ideas. Okay, so Cindy and Linda both wanna see a hedgehog die. Oh, I'm down for a hedgehog. That would be so cute. Yeah, I'm totally down for a hedgehog. Let's see, Pat would like a bunny. Wait, do okay, we do have... we do have a bunny on the Easter medley? That's right, we do have a on the Easter medley. Okay. Um, oh, Susan says a sloth. Oh, my my thoughts exactly. Sid the sloth, that'd be so much I'd fun. I'd love a sloth. <laughs> that'd be so cute. Okay. Um, okay, Denise also says seals slash otters. So okay. we're all on, on like the sea life vibe. Okay. Let's see, Amelia says she would love to see goats, emus, and llamas. Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of the goat, but I do love an emu. Though, you know, we do have the flamingo die. I don't know, we should have an ostrich or an emu. Be kind of fun. A llama would be super cute. A llama would be adorable. Llamas are really huge right now. Right? They kind of remind me of like a pinata or something like that. You know, <laughs> whatever. Seems yes. Awesome. While we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here I am, just you know, subcutting fabric. Hold on, I'm gonna get my little iron. I didn't have to take my shoes off today because we're not sewing anything. Woohoo! I know, but my machine is here for good looks. Exactly. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna give this a little press here because I want them to lay flat nice. so I want my wings to go in different ways and so you fan fold your fan folding yep so right I'm gonna now. fan fold them perfect I don't know I feel like wings should go different directions but exactly. okay so now look for the tiny little feet and nose mm -hmm. I have some orange here okay oh Ooh, Denise has a really good question. So when we were talking about the body, you know, and if you fan fold, it'd be upside down. Why, could, why couldn't it well, just be rotated upright? See, I, okay. If we cut them like this, then they're all gonna go like this. And if I cut one like this, see, I'm not sure that this is completely symmetrical. I would assume it is, uh -huh. but just to make sure I'm gonna have them all go in the same direction. Right, better safe I thought about sorry. that. I was like, well, you could just flip it over if you were using a solid, right? Sure. But I'm gonna go with my original subcut, put them all the same direction. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Oh, here, I'm just ironing for fun. Okay, now I need some feet and some beaks. So I'm gonna just take my fusible Okay, and today is all about, if in case you wondered how to do fusible. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I do. 
So it comes in rolls like this on our website, and I'm just gonna trim it down so I can use it, okay? And I just try to find, like, look. Ta-da, da. How fun is that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move it this way. Okay, because you want the fusible to just be a little bit smaller than the fabric. And I'm gonna always prefuse it to the back. Um, it's gonna be easier when you see it on my little shapes here. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little press. Our, we sell our wool mats and our irons on the website. Okay, so I'm gonna use this for the nose because I feel like, holy smokes, I can get so many noses out of that. Totally, yeah. And we need two feet for everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, don't. And I think with this one, I'm just gonna go like this. This is real science here, folks. Ooh, Pam, you're this gonna- This is quilting like you've never seen before. This is how I do it at home. That's how I'm gonna do it here. Okay, and I'm just gonna iron to the back. And I always keep my fabric that has been pre-fused mm -hmm. because sometimes later in life you need a project and you're just like, oh, I already I have the yellow that's pre-fused, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut this off here. And I am gonna do a little bit of trimming down here so we get some noses, okay? And um, I'm not gonna do the eyes yet. I'm gonna wait till I'm done with all my black fabric. Sure. Right. Okay. okay, so what are people telling us they want? So, okay, we have, uh, let's see, Kathy wants a giraffe. Okay, so we have a giraffe in the Zoo Life Medley dye. That's, we sure do. Right, isn't there a draft there? Okay. Also, I love this question and you're gonna love answering it. What okay. is grunge? Oh, <laughs> grunge is the best. Um, grunge is a fabric made by our good friends at Moda. And it's basically fabric that has been painted to give it texture. And I love grunge because I love the thought of having just texture and color and um, different, rather than a pattern, it's usually solids, though I do have grunge that have patterns. So just Google it. Go to Moda, <laughs> Google Moda grunge, just like it sounds, okay? That's so right. fun. So I can only do four layers, okay? Right. So there's my four layers, and we can continue to add more, but I, I just want you to get the gist of how you want to lay out your fabric, okay? Exactly. All right. Now I'm going to move all this stuff over here so that I don't burn myself, okay? All right, so now I have four layers of prefused. I'm going to make sure they're lined up over the body and his belly. Okay. Look at that. I know, the belly is super cute. Okay, the belly, don't exceed those four layers. Yes. Some of you might be tempted to do that. And um, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna cut cleanly. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't have more than four layers of prefused. Exactly. Okay, and I'm gonna cut some beaks. Okay, and I'm gonna use a six by 12 cutting mat. And again, this is gonna fit through all of our cutters. Yeah, which is super is. convenient because you could do it like you could do it on the go with your little go me. Yes, you could do it with your little go me. Take it to We're a We're gonna family. use our go big because we can. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love Holly's answer of what dye she wants. She says she wants more cats. Maybe a Oh, more cats. I would like more cats. I agree. Never too. I mean, there's a Halloween cat on the Halloween, Halloween medley. medley. Uh huh. Um, and that's kind of fun, but I would like more cats. Exactly. And okay, and then same vein, yes, we want more dogs. Yes. People are going to say they want more dogs. Yep, we have. So Morgan would love, you know, a Frenchie because of her Pierre. Oh, yes. And then I have, let's see, I know I saw someone requested, um, a there. Julie requested beagles. Nana oh, sure. Want, and Nana wants a dachshund. Oh, there you go. And oh, cute. the lovely Erica would love a corgi. Okay. 100%. All right, so the question is, how can AccuQuilt help me use my scraps and stash? All of this um, fabric that I have today that we're gonna use for 
the hats and the scarves and the gloves and all of that came from my bag of scraps. Said bag of scraps right here. Perfect. Okay. Sorry about that, Justin. So I just pulled out ones that I thought were fun and we're gonna figure out what shapes and then we're just gonna applique, you know, we're gonna rough cut it down because it's my scraps and your stash. And I think that that's so important because as quilters, sometimes our stash gets so big and we think, oh my goodness, now what should I do? Right. And so now we have so many dies that are great stash busters. Yeah. Okay. This being one of them. All right. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is, excuse me, I'm gonna do a little creativity. Okay. So here is my piece of white fabric. Okay, and the center is where the pins are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in the center. And we're not gonna do all of our penguins today, but I'm certainly gonna give it a good shot, okay? Yeah, that is a pro tip right there, because I would have never thought to mark it with a pin in the center. Well, you could have marked it, yeah. yeah. How would you have known where the center was? I don't know, just guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just gonna guess. I just kind of wing my quilts. He's just gonna guess. <laughs> just Holy <laughs> smokes. So good we're all here today. Okay. This is why I watch you, Pam, for. I know, now I've lost some do. of my bodies as I'm sitting here listening to you talk about this. <laughs> Hold on, where's the other bodies that I have? Oh, here they are. Oh, and they're still on the die. And Sharon, you know, when we were talking about the layer rule, she's wondering if you exceed the layer cut, does it hurt the cutter itself? Okay, the AccuQuilt answer is yes. The real answer is what's gonna happen is it's not gonna cut cleanly. Yeah. Because it's calibrated to cut six layers of cotton, four layers of prefused. Mm -hmm. So if you add more fabric in there that's prefused, it's not going to cut it correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> okay, all right, so now here's my little thing and you know, you kind of want to stagger them. And I don't know, I, I, I probably will do this. Let's start with three. <laughs> Let's start with three and see what we can do here. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the center one and build him and then kind of work on the outside ones, right? Because if you, if you start and fuse him down, like what if his wings are wrong? Right. Right? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel off the back of that fusible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? And we are getting so many fun answers. Okay, so I'm dying I, to hear them. I wanna like, you know, just let, um, we're keeping a list. We're keeping a list. We're sending them to product development. We really are. And we're looking, and remember, it's cuddly creatures that we're looking for. <laughs> Though I feel like if um, Summer Santa were here, he would say we need a teapot. But I completely agree. Yeah. Um, I feel like Summer Santa's watching baseball these days. Yes. Okay. So now I have my little penguin. I don't want him necessarily to be straight. So I'm going to lay him here. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of lay him out before I give him a press. Because okay. once you press him, that he's, he's, he's good. He's good for days. <laughs> okay, I feel like we should have named our penguin. <gasps> we named our flamingo, we should, we should totally name him. Okay, so now I want his, Flippers, oh, his, no, what are they? Wings. Pins. Wings. His wings, thank you. <laughs> to go under his belly and his body, right? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so again, I'm just laying it out. I, this would be so fun with kids. It really, really Like, was. I'm going to do half of it, and the next time I have Oakley, we're going to finish it. Because she will just think this is like building dolls, right? right. I could see fins or uh, wings like all over the place if a kiddo was. Joe, producer Joe suggest, thought he, you could have them and they could like be holding hands, you know, across. I know. I love Kinda that. Cute. Okay. Here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna add his little other wing because I feel like he's cool like that. 
Okay, and then once I think, okay, this is where I want him to be, okay. then I'm gonna give him a press. Okay? Perfect. All right. And now this is where all the creativity starts. So what kind of embellishments should we do for him? Okay, let's finish putting his little um, beaks and feet on. All right, Emily, tell us what cuddly creatures people are wanting. Yes, okay, love this one. Um, Ruth requested a koala. Oh, I would be down for a koala. Oh, they're so sweet. Right? And That's then, cute. And uh, Connie would like a whale and a hedgehog. A hedgehog seems to be pretty popular. Yeah. Which okay. that would be so much fun. Okay, and then here's his little nose. Ooh, Diane says polar bear. Oh, that would be cute. That would be really cute. Do like a, a winter, med like another winter medley of, you know, some sort. Like, like winter animals. Winter animals, yeah, that'd be so cute. Oh, that would be cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add these and then we're gonna, Emily's gonna give us some input here and we're gonna talk about what we should do next for him. Ooh. I know, I'm excited. Okay. okay, so now let's think about kind of what embellishments we want to put on him. Sure. And, um, and we can have girls. There's, there's girl penguins. Can we put like a little bow on her head? Yes, we could put a bow on her head. Yes. We could put a bow on her head and we could cut down a little, her, the, okay, so this is the cookie decorations? Yeah. Okay, if we cut down her little, um, dress, it could be like a little apron. Should we do that? Yes, please. Okay, just for Emmy, we're gonna do this. <laughs> okay, um, and what color should we do, Emily? Because, gosh, we're here today live. Let's Nobody gets to choose but us. See. What color wow. do you want her bow and what color do you want her skirt? Well, I think her bow would like, I love that kind of uh, the darker pink, the first one on, yeah, that one. Okay. And then maybe her, her, Maybe the no yellow for okay. her little apron. Okay, that'd be so cute. Okay, so this is this is how it, you build them. You ask people and they go, oh yes, this is what I want. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh! And if you wanted to go like a whole another level, you could totally take those little dots that are on the die and you yes. could make little polka dots on the apron. You could. We just for you, Emily. We're gonna do that. Stop. Okay. So this is the best part about applique, is because look. Here's my scraps. So now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut a little piece here. I should have asked the guys before the show what they wanted, but it's okay, they don't get to choose anymore. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna kinda cut this down a little bit. Okay, and then her skirt is yellow and we're gonna cut the whole skirt, okay? okay. And there we go. I am really good at this whole eyeballing thing. You really are. I'm, I'm a pro. I don't know. This isn't your first rodeo. This is not my first time applicating <laughs> aprons onto penguins. Okay, okay. So now that my little shapes are cut, these go back in the scrap pile. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my fusible like I did before. I'm just gonna find some scraps of fusible. So while I'm fusing the backs, Emily, tell us what people are wanting for dies. Yes. Okay, so far my favorites, can I say, Absolutely. are the sloth and the llama. I agree. Okay, those are my two favorites so far. What else? I think the hedgehog. Oh, and the just, hedgehog. It, like, I, I would do a hedgehog. To me, that would be so cute. Yeah, I would do a hedgehog. And we've also got some like, you know, water animals being requested. We've got dolphins, whales. Oh, dolphins and whales would be really fun. Jenny wants a narwhal. Okay. Can I, uh, em, my Emily, so Mason's girlfriend, my son at Mason, his girlfriend Emily, um, <laughs> she's hilarious. She is not really sure if narwhals are real. And, because we kind of tease her about it. And so yesterday, um, we gave away narwhal fabric on the launch. And I sent her a picture, and I go, look, narwhal fabric. And she goes, I love fabric with um, mythical creatures. So she's just never sure if we're teasing her about whether or not narwhals are real, and she knows they are, but, you know, it's kind of like unicorns. Okay, hey, so look what I did. This is so kid-friendly, right? Yes. If I can do this, children can do this, okay? 
And here we go. The thing to remember is make sure that fusible sticky side is down. Emily doesn't know how to do this yet, but one day if you touch that hot iron to it, holy smokes. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little yellow on it and my little pink, and I'm gonna get a six by six cutting mat. I have so many things over here, Emily. <laughs> All of okay. the things. What else do people want? Let's see. Oh my gosh, so Darla says a poodle because it's different than a normal dog that we have, you know, because we've got the oh, right, gingham right. dog, we've got the Scotty dog. Now we need a poodle, which okay. would be adorable. Okay. Um, and then, oh my gosh, love this. Odie said a dolphin or a mermaid. Okay, mermaids would be really fun. And you have to make mermen. Exactly. Right, if you're gonna make mermaids. Right. Okay. <laughs> the guys in the studio are going, what? Yeah, what? maybe they have two different like hair types depending on, oh, yes. you know, if you're doing a mermaid yes. or a mermaid. There you go. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Our team will figure that out. They're good at that. Exactly. Okay. So now look at this. I have so much fun over here. I was really excited about this show <laughs> because some, you know, so much of what we do on Wednesdays is to like inspire and to, you know, help you figure out what, what things you want to do. And this was just going to be so fun. Okay. So here's the little bow. Okay. Do you want it on the left or the right, Emily? Ooh, I think, I think where you've got it is perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut her little skirt down right here, right? That's so perfect. that it's just like a little skirt, <laughs> okay? This is too much fun. I know, it's just like building dolls. It really is, it's like paper dolls almost. It is, like paper dolls, oh, only better. Because we have all of these, look! <gasps> hey, <laughs> look how cute she is. She's darling. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the polka dots you were gonna make, right? You thought that would be fun? I think that'd be cute if you did yeah. like, I mean, you could even, you could use like the one from the cookie decorations mm -hmm. die. You could probably even like, if you wanted to do tiny little polka dots, you could even use the eyes from the penguin. Yes, notice I haven't cut the eyes yet. The eyes are the last thing I'm gonna cut and iron to my project because they're so little. Yes, or if you had like the flamingo die, the eye of the flamingo is slightly larger. Right, or you could use beads. Yes. Oh, I Maybe love Maybe that's that. what I'll do. Little beads or buttons. I okay, is she good? Can I iron her? She is great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like just so much fun. So while we're talking about, you know, feasible, et cetera, Melanie is wondering. Hi, Melanie. How long does one press to get your fusible to stick? Is there like, you know, like, like three to five seconds, five to right. ten? So it tells you on the fusible, there's instructions you should read them because they're all different. Oh, okay. okay. But in this one where I keep pressing layers, mm -hmm. like the initial one I held down for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, because I know that I'm still adding layers to it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. 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 Do you, you don't want to leave it there too long because your iron will burn it and then your flamingo or your penguin will be sad. I know. We should totally have done like flamingos with our penguins. That would be adorable. That'd be really cute. A little tropical okay, and gnomes. Little okay. All right. So let's do a boy one, and we're gonna use like the gnome hat. Okay. All right. So. Oh my God, Pam! You're gonna love this idea. Janice says, "Hey, Pam, how about a grass skirt for a little hula penguin?" Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. I have green. We could maybe do a grass skirt for him. I adore So if I just that. put fusible here at the top, yeah. then it will fray. Okay, we okay. can do this. That's We genius. can do this. There is a dye for all of this. <laughs> oh, look. Okay. Okay, well, let's do the boy. Let's do the boy and let's do a hat. Okay, cool. Okay. Love that idea. The gnome hat. What color should our gnome hat be, Emily? You're in charge of all our color choices today. Let's see. The hat should definitely be red. If oh, we've okay. Got red. Um, I have no red. Okay, what color? Let's see. What I have blues and oranges and green. Oh, a blue hat would be nice. This blue hat? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do a hula skirt today, but yes. One of my penguins will have a hula skirt. And I feel like now, okay, I feel like now as I'm making that, 
at the end, I'm just gonna have a flamingo, right? Because while we're making them. Why not? All right, and again, oh, here I gotta take my body off. One time I was doing applique and I forgot to take the paper off and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't stick to the fabric. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Here we are, we're playing um, paper dolls today with our penguin die here at IQ Quilt Live today, okay? And we're gonna do this one. All right, so besides the gnome hat, what, oh, we gotta put his feet on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else should we put on him, Emily? Let's see if he's got he has a, a hat. scarf. We can do a Maybe. scarf. Yeah, let's bundle him up since it's a chilly day. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you would not know that we live in the same city, let alone <laughs> the same winter place. I came in like with you know my short sleeve shirt and my pants, and Emily's bundled up like she's going to Antarctica. I know. I was literally blasting the heat the entire way. You're like, oh, I had the windows down on the way here. I did. I had the windows <laughs> rolled down. I tell you. We live in different worlds. Okay, is this good placement for our little boy? Is he good there? Okay, I think Aww. he's good. All right, tell us what people want. Today's your day, quilters. Seriously, yeah, like today let is the day. Us if you've ever know. wanted to die of a cuddly creature, oh. today is the day to tell us. Jenny says she thought we named our penguin Waddles, which that's a cute little name. That is a cute name because it can be a boy or a girl. Exactly. Okay, Jenny. Yes. Is that who it is? Okay, Jenny, you win. We're gonna forever now name him, whenever I talk about the penguin dying, I'm gonna say, and here's Waddles. Here's little Waddles. Okay, <laughs> you get the bragging rights. <laughs> I think that's fun. Oh my gosh, Jean would like to see a squirrel die. Really? Why? So I guess that makes sense like for fall, like a squirrel and an acorn. And... Yeah, you could totally do that with like the maple leaves and like make oh, a sure. whole little fall, like and our fall leaves. And... Yeah, that would be really, really cool. Okay, so once again, we're gonna build our basic penguin. Okay, I'm doing the eyes very last. Okay. Oh, yes, definitely. I'm really excited about this. This is such a great die. It and really for all seasons, you could totally make them for Valentine's Day. You could put them on the pennant die. Yes. You could do all sorts of fun things. Okay, and I'm just gonna do raw edge quilting over them, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I gotta move this. And what color is the scarf gonna be, my friend? Let's see, if the, let's see, the hat's gonna be blue. Yes. So how about the scarf is like green or, or um, Is this too green? Orange. You tell me. He could be Maybe orange or he could orange. be Maybe do orange. Yeah, let's do blue and orange. That'd be cute. Okay, and again, once again, we're doing this really exact. <laughs> Cut down your fabric. Nice. Okay, and I do wanna mention too, because like, so this project obviously includes, you know, several dies. So we actually have a bundle right now on our website. Okay. It's go. It's called the Go Penguin Project Bundle. Okay. Right now, everybody put it in your cart. It's It's got the penguin. It's got the holiday accessories. It's got the gnome, the cookie decorations, the cutting mats, and even the embroidery designs to go with it. All the things you need. All the things you need. Yeah. No, that's a great... Thank you for putting that bundle together, and thank you for knowing that, Miss Emily, because holy smokes, is that fun. It's really okay. fun. Okay, so we're going to give a little scarf to Waddles. I like that. That's cute. Little Waddles. I know. This is precious. Oh, Patricia says, we need Santa. He's soft and cuddly, just not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He is, he is cuddly, he, isn't he? <laughs> cuddly is not really a word I would use to describe <laughs> Santa, but I do. I feel like if Santa, Summer Santa was here, he would tell us we need a teapot. That's true. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing, right? I'm gonna pre-fuse my fabric with my fusible. Perfect. All right, what else, Emily, are they talking about out there oh in the AccuQuote world? Oh my gosh, all of the things. Um, we, got, we have so many fun, like, dog breeds, schnauzers, border collies, Yorkies, Labradors, Cocker Spaniel, Golden Retriever. Yeah, I, I feel like, though, if we go down the dog trail... It's going to be like opening a can of yeah, worms. Yeah, because people are going to be mad that, you know, we made a boxer, but we didn't make a, you know, a border collie. Exactly. There's so many breeds. I know. There's just so many breeds. Oh, Patty wants to see a lamb. 
Oh, so do we not have a lamb on the bubba like lamb? The baby, the baby, go baby, go. Something, yeah. I don't know what's that die called. Oh yeah, it's the uh, lullaby. There we go. Die. It has a lammy. A little lamb and a little rattle. It has rattle. a lammy and a rattle. So cute. Okay. Um, Julie agrees with a whale. She wants to see I a think whale. A whale die. would be really fun. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna press these. We're gonna cut these out. And so think about other. Uh, mediums in which to cut this out. For example, craft foam. Oh, yes. You know, craft foam for days. That's what you need. And you could just play or ones with the Or felt clothes. or flannel. Um, we had some great inspiration yesterday where you could put them on a burp cloth or a baby bib, right? That was, yeah, those yeah, were Yeah, so I mean, just cute. really great. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off even though it's screaming hot. Okay, all right. And what cut shapes are we cutting here? Oh, here, we're cutting <laughs> a blue hat. Okay. And we're cutting a orange scarf. Oh, look, I love it when I get to do this. It doesn't Ooh, happen are, very often. What are we doing? So we have a go big fabric cutter. <laughs> so we can cut both of these ties in one pass through the cutter. Yes. Um, remember, it's only gonna cut where there's fabric and a mat. Uh -huh. It's not gonna hurt the mat or the cutter or the die. I just thought too, I'm seeing that little like kind of crown shape on yes. the holiday accessories die. We could make a king penguin. There is a king penguin, right? Yes. Okay. The emperor penguin. See, look at all of us <laughs> knowing our penguins. Oh, uh, listen, I don't know what your day job is, but I have a great day job where I get to build penguins. Seriously. Okay. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put the little scarf on him. We're gonna put the little gnome hat. Look at how fun that is. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is precious. And like I say, I'm gonna have my granddaughter help me this oh, weekend yeah. when she comes over. We're gonna finish our penguins. I'll just put the basic ones out and she can decorate them. Exactly. That is so okay. perfect. And oh, truly, truly the, um, oh, here, I can show you. Okay, so here's the scarf and here's his hat. We should put his hat on this side. Oh yeah. Wanna make sure when you're doing it that you leave a quarter inch seam allowance because that's where you're gonna add those st strips. That's right. Okay. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, Emily, while I'm doing my last bit of pressing, tell us what other cuddly creatures Let's see. Oh, so Connie would like to see a tiger with stripe options. Oh, very good. And uh, a bear cub to go with the Northwoods medley. Oh, and, yes. And also, and she wants a squirrel too. Okay. Squirrels are squirrels are making a comeback. <laughs> it's amazing to me. Okay. So look at this. Here's our cute little penguins. Look at them go. Aren't they just so fun? And I have to show you this because it's my favorite of all. Our good friends at V-Stitch, who I love, yes. made Halloween penguins. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite. I so you could, uh -huh. you could make Halloween penguins on your table topper and then do a Halloween fabric for the border. That just saying. so cute. All right, to complete your table runner, you're gonna add that two and a half inch strip to the sides, the top and the bottom. You're gonna pin or baste and quilt as desired. Finish with your favorite binding method and be sure to finish your, share your finished projects on all of our social media pages. Hey, don't forget all of our videos live on our YouTube and Facebook pages so you can come back and watch them over and over again. All right, Emily, we've made a couple of penguins. We've had such a great time. Um, do you want to announce our winner of our Go Penguin die? I would absolutely love to, Pam. Could I get a drum roll, please? Our winner is Stacy J from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Congratulations, Stacy. Listen, Stacy, share us your colony of penguins because yes. we want to see. Hey, quilters, have you registered for the AccuQuilt so long? It just started last week, and it's not too late to join the fun. You want to watch the first two parts on our YouTube page and then register for the final two parts 
on our event page. Yes. We're making a really fun table runner, and I have all my pieces sewn for this week. Yay. I know, I'm feeling really good about life. <laughs> okay, this month's Dodge Try is the Go Alabama Beauty Dye. It is available. It is sold out. Sold out out on our website. But you can go to our website and vote for it to be part of our permanent collection, okay? Don't forget to join me and Eric on Tuesday, October 25th at 12 noon Central Time as we relaunch a fan favorite die. You are gonna, this is a die that was a die to try. It's now part of our permanent collection. It's sold out in eight days. You wanna make sure you join us. Register for the events page for the chance to win prizes. And hey, quilters. Are you going to Quilt Festival in Houston next week? I am. Uh, <laughs> Justin and I are going to go. We're going to take some videos of the quilts, and we're going to do a live um, from Houston. So, But I will be at the Be So In booth on Thursday, November 2nd, 3rd, November 3rd, at 10.30 to 11.30. So if you're in Houston, stop by and see me. I'd love to meet you. Now, be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live as we make bowl cozies for days. Again, you want to check out our events page. There are so many events to register for, and that's how you win prizes. On behalf of our entire team offsite, we have Morgan and we have Lauren helping us, right? Yep. Offsite. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Brock and Justin and Joe, and of course, the amazing Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you later.